Greetings, people. This is Keith the Modesta doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. And it has been a few days since I've last recorded a session. So it might take me a moment to remember exactly what was going on. Um, but I was, uh, I've been working on a, a mob spawner, right, to spawn Endermen. But I also wanted to be able to switch it out to spawn blazes right endermen for ender pearls and blazes for blaze rods so i did some of the work on that off camera between episodes and i'm very close to having it done but in fact i had it working but i, I hadn't yet gotten a blaze uh, a uh, safari net with a blaze in it um but uh, i decided i needed to fix a few i needed to change a few things so so that last little bit was what we're going to do today and to, in order to do that I need to grab a few things I need to grab some redneck cable and I tested some of this off cam I'm in it I tested some of this in a test world also I should say um, and we need a, a wireless receiver and a wireless transmitter I have already made made them this is part of my testing in fact I actually need another pair of these so we're gonna make we are going to make them right now so I need to grab some obsidian I made some I made some obsidian in the uh, igneous extruder. So let's go ahead and uh, show how you make these things. So um, what I want, wireless, if I put in wireless. Okay, so we want a wireless transmitter and a wireless receiver. These use, um, Transmitter, a wireless transmitter and a wireless receiver uses a wireless transceiver. Okay, plus an obsidian stick, some redstone and some stone slabs. So first thing we need, we need two of these things right here, two wireless transceivers, because both of these things use that. And um, and that uses an obsidian stick and a and a rether pearl. So we need two. two of these and we need to make them into a different kind of thing by grabbing oh man oh man I wish I had more of that oh I have some over here could I don't have to sacrifice that blaze rod okay so first we gotta turn these into um, this oh no wait that's not right that's not what I want I was gonna do the wrong thing what is this oh okay uh, okay so I need some uh, I need some of that stuff. I'm glad I didn't do that. Okay, so we need eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then we need some sticks. Do that. And then we just turn these things in here. Got two of those, and then I need some sticks. Stone. I have some stone in here. Okay. So first we got to make, let's go ahead and make a bowl. One bowl. That is good. Back. And then we can make one of these. And now I need, uh, oh, I need some more redstone. So I need four pieces of redstone. One, two, three, four. And I need some stone slabs. Now, now we should have everything ready. So one of these, and one of these, and that is it. So I've got two of each. That is, do they stack? They stack. Cool, let's get rid of this. And that'll be good. Okay, now let's go down there. Now, so new things. Uh, you see there's a whole bunch of, um, Dispensers with water buckets in them. A dispenser. Maybe I should show the recipe for a dispenser. And dispensers. I cannot spell. Apparently, dispenser. What did I do? Dispenser. Dispenser. Here we go. Okay, so we got stone surrounding a bow with a little bit of redstone. It gives you a dispenser. Dispensers are a uh, oh, and I have oh, actually I have two in my in my inventory here. Um, dispensers are are, are a, um, a vanilla item. 
So if I, uh, this will make a mess, but if I put the water in here, right there in the inventory, it's got nine spaces in its inventory, and I, and I, I click the lever, it'll, that's nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, and, and then another redstone signal uh, brings b the uh, the water back into the bucket. Also, you can shoot arrows with it, I believe. All right, if I go like this, shot an arrow. Cool. Okay, that's enough of that. I need a. Let me have a. There we go. And I take this back. Thank you. Okay, so I've got all these dispensers lining the um, the wall or the room lining the, wa the, the walls of the room plus more right here um, so and the, so and also have a you see there's a nice little door right here that's courtesy of oh you know what I think I took it back out where did that lever oh I broke it um, there's a, this is actually a drawbridge with two pieces of clear glass in it so, um, huh, there was, wasn't there? Um, you know what? I don't remember. I don't remember how I did that. I, I don't remember taking that, um, taking that lever off, but I guess I must have. I think I had a lever right here. No, it doesn't work. So I guess it must have been, it must have been a panel there. Let's see. So I have two, oh, I have one piece of that red alloy wire. So I'm guessing that was right there. And then if I had a panels here, here, and here, and there, and then I put leather there, no. Why did I have that lever? Oh well, I guess I'll worry about that later. Hmm, that's disturbing. I don't remember. I don't remember breaking that. I had a lever here to to cause the drawbridge to to go um, to deploy the blocks. Anyway, I'll fix that later. So the two things besides fixing that, we gotta we gotta um, we gotta add a um, a way to tell this thing to turn off. If you apply a redstone signal, I guess I can do this. See right now. It's got a it's got an idle idle timer that's going down, <clears throat> and once that goes to zero, it starts spawning things. It's not actually spawning things right now because there's no Safari net in there. But if you if you apply a redstone signal, then it stops um, this idle timer stops going down. So that's a way of turning the thing off, which I should have actually built in. I mean, I should have set that up um, that way in the first place. <clears throat> I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, now. Um, We've already got uh, the energy going down f uh, behind this cover. There's uh, ener energy conduits, and uh, then we got the fluids, the uh, mob essence going down in these fluid ducts right here. So that kind of uh, takes away all my size, right? Unless I want to go in and put another cable coming down here, but I really don't want that to interfere with these dispensers, which are already there. Um, I could take out these fluid ducts and the um, energy conduits and replace them with uh, pipes from extra utilities um, because then I could I could bring in the energy and the and the mob essence in one pipe which is a really good cool thing about the pipes from extra utilities um, but that way then I could use this space right here to put to bring in the redstone signal using redneck cable right so I still have I would still have two two columns here being used uh, I would just uh, you know, be have a, a hardwired way of turning of of getting the redstone signal into here. But I decided to try a different way because you know I already have all this all these pipes in place, and I don't want to I don't want to fool around with with changing that all around. So um, I don't know why I'm moving these things around. So instead of using doing that, we're going to use these uh, transmitters. That's why I have them. That's why I have two of each. Dang it cooperate with me. So we need to transmit from 
If we put this right here, there, yeah, and it's already facing the right direction, then that will send a redstone signal to the auto spawner because that's pointing, that's pointing up, right? So we just need to find a spot. And for now, let's see, what, where should my spot be? I can't put it there. I'm kind of running out of big places, so I guess... I guess for now I'm gonna put it right here and I can I can change it later if I want to. Okay, so I need a lever. Like that one. We'll put the lever right there. And it's they're already set it's already set to frequency zero, but I happen to know, I'm not sure why this is, but if if you just it should it should work right now, right? I go like that. <clears throat> this should get send a red cell signal there, but it doesn't work. Um but if I reset this, if I go up to like set this to one, and then I come over here and set this to one, ah, uh, oops, you know what? I think I already already made it. I'm already made a. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I made it. I I worked on this. I was using this be, this setup for toggling the water on and off. I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up right now, actually, in a moment. But anyway, first we're doing the turning the auto spawner on and off. Anyway, so I have them both set to one. And now I flip the lever, and that's not doing anything. Oh, you know what? I have these in the wrong. <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I did that. I have them backwards. Goodbye. This is supposed to be a receiver. This needs to be the receiver. There. And this needs to be the transmitter. There we go. Now, now if I toggle that on, okay, so this is getting the redstone signal, and I believe this one will not be right. But if I set this to one, and then I come over here and set this to one, now, whoops, now this will be receiving the signal. And I think if I reset it back to zero, they will be also. It's just when you first set them down, for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't want to work. Anyway, so there, you see, it's turned it off. That's good. Okay, so that is done. And I will grab that back. Okay, and now we got what the last thing to do besides, and then we got to cover, you know, put the covers back on and cover this up and make it all look nice. But before we do that, we got to put down two more dispensers because the way things are now, and I have to take away all these bricks. I put these, oops, I put those there to make things easier for me. Um, the way things with the way where all these water dispensers are right now, um, if um, the way. If I, if I just left it that way, there would be no water in these two spots, right here and right here. There would be air right here and right in places could hang out there and uh, not die, which is bad. So we got to put two more dispensers down. And before we put the dispensers, let's see. So what do we want? We want, we want another piece of stone here. Let's see if I remember how I did. This was a couple of days ago when I was testing all this out, so I have to remember. Did that again. Let me get this here. This here. Okay. So what I need. Can I do it that way? No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll just do it the simple way. I'll put this here. And so we need another transmitter. And this one has got a point down. So do I have my wrench on me? No. Uh, okay. Wrench. I have to turn that thing in this, and you turn it with the wrench. I think I have to sneak, right? Because if I just right click, it's going to open up the interface. So I want this pointing down. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to place down, um, let's see, I guess I could probably do it this way. Um, we need to place down some rednet cable, like right there, and right there, no, there, okay. Come back you. Do I not have my dick spell on? There we go. Ugh. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay, so now, oops, it's already it's already got the little interface for inter uh, for connecting up with the um, the receiver, so that's good. Now we just got to put down our dispensers, and if we do it from the bottom, it'll automatically be pointing down, which is what we want. And that should they're they're connected. Cool. And now we just put in the buckets. All right. And now we got to go. Oops. Put our transceiver. Oh, I guess it should choose a frequency. Ah. I gotta set this to a, the right frequency, which will be this one. There we go, 99. Good. So now we gotta place the transmitter, the transmitter down. And what I'm gonna do after turning into a chicken, I already had this set up, right? <clears throat> and then I was gonna change things around, so I took it out while I was experimenting. Um, so I'm gonna put the transmitter right here, and gotta turn it. So it's facing the right way, and then set it to the right frequency. And now, when uh, when I when I pull that lever to turn, or actually it's a button, that when the, that button right there. When I push the button, it sends a, red, a redstone signal to all these dispensers, and also to this transmitter, which sends a redstone signal to that receiver, where that bottom receiver, which sends a signal to the other those two dispensers on the bottom that way we get um, water everywhere and now I take out all these blocks oh I, and let's put down some covers so this looks all pretty um, there we go also it keeps water from getting in there and sometimes some things some things if, if water runs by them they break off I'm, I'm not sure if that'll happen with oops I got it next one I'm not sure if that'll happen with uh, the the transmitters or the I guess these are receivers, but it might, and I don't want to take that chance. I guess I should have placed these before I took those bricks. Oh, I got some over here. Ah. Come on, get me where. I the ones that are a little easier. Okay, now get in the spot I want, please. If I do this, will it? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, might, I don't have enough covers. Ah. doesn't like oh that's right it doesn't like um, redneck cables are not redneck cables are not friendly to uh, covers they're not micro blocks and I think when the water's running these covers are gonna get are gonna pop off this happened to me before that's why I wasn't using these redneck cables I didn't test that uh, so I got to change things here oh this might be a problem okay I am going to do a cut while I fix this, and I'll show what I've done to fix it after I get back. This might take me a little while. All right, I think I figured everything out. First off, let's fix this. Uh, if you go, I'm a chicken. I'm still in. I'm in chicken form right now. Uh, I figured out why this, why I couldn't get this to work. I just couldn't remember. Uh, so here are the two drawer bridges, but there are clear glass in them, and we've got um, red alloy wire running in here with some strips in between them to keep these two separate and then uh, what I have to do is put make sure I can get out a piece of stone right here and then run some red alloy wire right there right and then if I can get out there we go now if I place a lever do I have a lever no I used it for something and I still want to use it for what, what it's being used for, so I need another lever. And I don't have any wood down here. Quickly! 
I didn't think of this, <clears throat> or I would have had a lever already. So I just need a piece of wood. Uh, a stick, that is. I need a stick. And we will get a lever. Okay. We do not have much time, unfortunately. Okay, so now if I place the lever right here, there we go, it opens and closes. That, that's what we want to see. And now we're just going to put a cover right there. How pretty. Okay, now for this part. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I had to lower this, the dispensers uh, one level. All right, it's still, it's still just high enough to clear uh, the quicksand, but uh, I didn't. I don't particularly. I'm not particularly happy about them having to be so low. Cause you know I could have just. I could have just had a column go all the way down. Of course it would have intersected with the sand with the uh, quicksand and that. So that wouldn't work. But I don't. You know I didn't like this column being that far down. But the only other the only other thing I could do is be to tear out. Tear out all the pipes and redo all that. <clears throat> so I didn't have to use this wireless that wireless trans uh, receiver to uh, turn the auto spawner on and off. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Um, anyway, so I was gonna I was gonna be using the redneck cable, right? Because that actually turns out to be more compact. And the only problem is that you can't put covers over them, <clears throat> and the covers would just pop off. They because they just uh, they just don't work with micro blocks yet. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna redo that. But anyways, but I can instead use a uh, red LA wire and. And I also have to use red alloy, red alloy frames because then it's freestanding. Part of it needs to be freestanding. So I'm going to put red alloy wire right there. And then, um, see, at least I thought it used to be, see, if I put a cover right there, right? You'd think I could put red alloy wire on the cover, but oh, you can. You know, I was trying this before and I couldn't get it to work. Now you can, but how do I get around? I wonder, you know what, if I could do this, I could put that there, and if I could put a cover right there. Now, if it'll let me do this, I won't have to use frames. That, that is when it won't let me do. That is when I need to do. Whoops. I went forward too much more than I thought of. Yeah. Okay, I can't put one there because I need to get down here. I wonder. Yeah, okay, I don't think I can do it that way. That's unfortunate. But I can use frames. Okay, so framed alloy wire. So if I put that there and that there, and then I put one there, then that'll connect up. And, uh, and then I have to put... I need to get... The framed uh, red alloy to connect to the dispenser, so I put those there, and now they're all connected, and that should work, right? Let's, so we can test this real quick by going over here. If I come up here, I actually turned this transmitter and put this lever down so I could test this, right? So that's on, and now if I go over here, you can see that that worked. The water's on, that that part of the water. So let's go ahead and turn this off. It actually is, turn, the water turns on and off from a pulse. So it really needs to be a bite. Okay, so now everything should be working. All I need to do is put these covers on. Oh, and there's my timer. Okay, so we gotta finish this. So I put a cover there, and there, and there, and there, oops. There, and there. There, 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 there. Okay, is that everything? Maybe I might need one. Nope, 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 got that. Okay, I think that's everything. So we gotta get rid of all this rock, all these blocks. Don't need to be here anymore. And then we'll test this out and that'll be it. Uh, I still have to go get a blaze in a safari net. The whole reason for doing this, for having, for having water cascading down.
but I haven't shown, you know, I haven't shown all the water in action yet, so I got to do that. All right. So I think I got everything right. Right? Yes. And all all those blocks I broke are all going to end up in his chest. Let's go back into human form, so I'm not so short. And I guess we can cover. Oh, I need to turn this. I need to get to this. Ah, uh, I should have. I I uh, jumped the gun. Okay, so we need to turn this back there, and we can get rid of this lever. There we go, and then we can cover up. Cover this up. I guess we can put that. Well, I'll just put I'll just put one here. Oop. There, 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 and there. Okay, now let's go back to human. Okay, so let's flip this lever to close the door. Now, if we push this button, all the water should go down. Actually, we should check that out by going in. Turn it to a squid. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little dark in there. I don't have, um, until we get down here, I don't have my night vision spell relearned. I haven't remade it, that is. But if we go down here, you can see, if, if I didn't have these two dispensers right here, this this right here would be air. So any blazes that got here would, would you know, wouldn't die. Um, but, so now, because of that, everywhere we have, we have water. I don't... I don't know why this this visual thing is going on, but th there are blocks right here, so so the blazes can't get away. There's water everywhere. Is there a little bit of air up here? No. Okay, so everything's good. Let's get out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. All right. So another push of the button turns the water off. So when I'm when I get my when I finally get a blaze in a in a safari net, I can just place it right in there, you know, open the door, right click, and place the uh, place the um, auto spawner in there, and yep, the and right now the the auto spawner is turned off, right? So I put the I put the safari net in there, and I let the blazes, well, let's see, close the door, turn turn it on. Let the blazes accumulate, and I can turn it off and turn on the water. Voila, blaze rods. That is the plan. So next episode, I will go to the nether and get a blaze into a safari net, and we will try it out, and then, and that should not hopefully take the whole episode. <sighs> I shouldn't. Um, and then I think I have an idea for what I want to do next. A little adventure. Uh, enough building things. We want to go on a little bit of adventure. So that'll be at the beginning. Of, well, that'll be like the second half of the next episode. We'll be starting a little bit of adventure. Okay, so this has been Keith and Modesto playing Mod and Minecraft with the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.